Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're still with our legacy family trying to get them ready to move to the new world when the new expansion pack comes out. But Johnny has decided to have a midlife crisis at the most inconvenient time for me because I'm trying to get things wrapped up on the ranch and he has decided that he wants to create things. He wants to be creative. So he's in the middle of a midlife crisis. It says this is a temporary aspiration, complete desires to decrease the duration of the midlife crisis. So right now it looks like he has six days on his midlife crisis. So we're going to have to try to decrease that a little bit because we'll probably be living in the new world in six sim days. But he wants to view or admire three artwork pieces, play an instrument for six hours, start a mural or view the tragic clown painting, which I find that quite tragic because I don't want to buy the tragic clown painting and I think we're going to have to. So Johnny is having a midlife crisis. That's what's happening today on the ranch. But other than that, everyone is asleep. It's the twins birthday today. They're going to be aging up into children, which is lovely. Austin and Jade both do have work today though. Jackson actually needs to get up. I think everyone needs to get up. Yeah, I feel like they do. Austin has school in an hour, so he really should get up. We actually don't have anything to eat. He's going to have to eat a quick meal this morning. We'll just have a little bit of cereal. And Austin has a loose tooth, apparently. He should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing his teeth can help speed up the process. Or Austin can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. I don't think I'm going to do that. But Johnny can go on and jump up and... Uh, Let's see, he's contemplating his life this morning. Oh, it says in the midst of a midlife crisis, Johnny has decided violin is his thing and wants to do it more often. See Johnny's likes in the Somology panel? Oh, he likes violin. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't gonna be the instrument that I bought for Johnny, but I guess we'll make it work. And the horses this morning are doing great, it appears. So I'm gonna let Jade come practice some meditation. She actually needs to move the laundry to the dryer i guess too i'm gonna have to remember to do that but then i'm gonna let her meditate before she goes to work and uh i think we're pretty much set up for the day when she gets home from work and austin gets home from school we'll have a birthday party for the twins they're both very sad right now poppy has had a nightmare and she's tired of playing with her dolls i'm gonna let jackson just run around because he only needs his movement skill and thinking skill leveled up and he's tired of the nesting blocks so i think i'm just gonna let him run around and just be free i'm not gonna call the nanny today i feel like we're good the kids don't really need a bath and they're gonna age up tonight oh poppy is wanting a little bit of attention <gasps> johnny's dazed what's going on from contemplating his life he's feeling a little bit dazed well let's go chat with poppy maybe that would make both of them feel better okay and it looks like poppy and johnny are jokesters that's their family dynamic jackson is running around outside which to be fair to him i did tell him to do that but he's cold because it's fall and it's cold today is that okay or like does he need to come back inside probably let's just come back inside jackson i don't want anything to happen and poppy is feeling better so she's good to go today she can go on and get working on her skills and i guess johnny is gonna get to work on his midlife crisis. Let's go on and view this artwork. We have a little bit of artwork in the house that we can view. I also may give Johnny and Jade a little bit of a makeover really quickly too. Cause I feel like they're both adults now. Johnny's outfits kind of still make sense, but some of Jade's outfits are a little bit more like her younger party days. So I feel like they need an upgrade, even though we're also gonna be giving the kids a makeover tonight. Let's not do that. We'll just wait on that. And when I give the kids their makeover, I'll update Johnny and Jade. And Melee said to Jade, congratulations on your recent birthday. I think she congratulated Johnny as well. Oh, hold on. Marissa Tracy says to Johnny, we don't even know this sim really well. I think this is Marissa Tracy. I may be wrong. She says, let's go to GeekCon and help build the rocket. I hear it's out of this world. I mean, it's nice for her to invite us to go along, but uh, no, no. We're not into rockets right now, Marissa. We're into art. We didn't get any... We have to travel to a museum. We can't view the artwork in our own house. That's not cool. I don't want to travel to a museum, Johnny. Okay, well, we can just purchase a DIY mural. We can do that here. It'll be easier to go to a museum when the kids are kids, when the twins are kids, when they're in school, it'll be easier to do that. So let's just get a DIY floor mural. I wonder if Jackson changes into his cold weather outfit. Can he go outside then? He should be able to. And 
Oh, I gotta get pictures of the twins before they age up. Oh, I hope Johnny has the camera. I'm gonna let Jackson come out here. His little cold weather outfit is adorable. I can't believe I nearly forgot that. They're about to age up and we don't have pictures of them as toddlers. Oh, that's cute. That one is cute, you guys. Okay, that's the one we're gonna get. It's actually kind of cute, honestly, the midlife crisis, because if he wasn't in that, I would just have him nectar making today. And now he's out here and he's playing with the toddlers before they age up. And that's actually really cute. We have 24 hours to pay our bills before our water is shut down. The, the power company has shut off the power to our house. We didn't. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that it was that urgent. Here, I'll pay the bills. I just forgot about it, you guys. Really, I did. I'm gonna send Jackson back in to study shapes. I mean, his skills are doing so good. Okay, did we pay it? Are we good now? We got power again? Yeah, we did. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm gonna let him take a picture of Poppy and then he can go back to painting his little mural. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. Hers is a little bit different than Jackson's, but it's cute. I like it. All right, Poppy, you are good to go now. She is very sad. Oh, Austin is uncomfortable at school because of his loose tooth. We may have to help him speed that along if it's gonna make him uncomfortable. This was enough, I guess, for Johnny to get started. So now he needs to view the tragic clown painting and reach level three in two creative skills. Oh, the tragic clown painting is at the rec center. I don't think it's at my rec center, the one that I built. So uh, we may have to go to the one that's originally in San Sequoia. Austin is done with school. He still is a B student, but it's okay. He's had a rough day. Maybe we'll just keep on wiggling our loose tooth for a little while and see if we can get it to come out. Oh, now Johnny has decided that pipe organ is his thing and wants to do it more often. So that's all. We just need the violin and the pipe organ and he'll be happy, I guess. The cheapest violin is 125 simoleons. That's that's not bad. I feel like I could do that for him. Oh, gross. The wiggle tooth interaction is kind of gross. Keep wiggling it. Should we just pull it, guys? Let's let's do it. Let's pull out loose tooth. That wasn't so bad. Austin lost his loose tooth. He can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or elect to fix missing tooth. Why would you do that? That's weird. We lost our first tooth though, guys. That's so cool. Okay, let's see. What does he need to do? He's done, finished up his homework. So I guess he could go out here and work on learning to ride his bike. Oh, we got a tooth fairy certificate. Where are we gonna put our little tooth fairy certificate? We don't have a lot of room in his room. We could put it right there. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's adorable. So Jade is home from work. I guess we need to start the birthday party for the twins, but let's see. Let's move Johnny's violin into the other room. I don't think the guests at the birthday party are gonna quite appreciate his violin ability right now. So we'll move that into another room. Okay, so we're good. The party is started. We're not gonna be doing a ranked event. So all we need is cake. I'm gonna let Jade cook it. I'm gonna let her try. I'm gonna trust her with it and hopefully it will go well. And Ren Grove would like to come over and hang out. I think I just invited him to the birthday party. So yeah, of course. And hopefully Marcus, if he comes to the birthday party, will come hang out with the horses because they're both a little bit upset. Paolo, it looks like he's in here chatting with Jackson. Oh, we can share the love. I don't know what that means, but we can do it. Austin is still riding his bike and Jade is doing so good. She did not set the house on fire. Yes, Jade, add some birthday candles to that thing and let's start aging up these twins. It's Jackson's turn first. Let's see who Jackson is gonna be, you guys. What kind of sim is he gonna be? What's he gonna look like? Oh, and we need to go on and add more birthday candles so Paolo doesn't get any ideals. Come on, Jade, get in there. Jackson aged up, select an aspiration and a trait to replace his toddler trait of charmer. And he is a child of the ocean, you guys. Answer the call of the ocean. Sims with this trait will prefer water-related activities and feel closer to denizens of the sea i don't know what that means but that's really cool you guys if you have seen many of my speed builds you know that i love sulani i was really hoping that this new pack would have some waterfront lots because it does look like it has a little bit of a tropical look but i don't know from what i've seen so far it doesn't look like that so what is his um aspiration going to be then let's see i guess we could let him do the mind and body it says this sim wants to master both their mind and body that seems like a very kind of chill island thing. I don't know how to reason it, you guys. That's what I'm gonna go with. And because he had such good skills, he is starting, it looks like everything with skill level two, which is amazing. 
He did really good as a toddler. I'm very proud of Jackson. He actually looks good in his random clothes. There comes Nanny Salma. Okay, now I gotta get Poppy in here. Poppy should do well with her skills also because I think she was at level four in everything, but she didn't have as many level fives as Jackson did. Poppy also was a charmer as a toddler, so we're going to randomize her trait and she is a perfectionist. I don't know why, but I feel like that makes sense for Poppy. I genuinely do. So with her being a perfectionist, should we let her aspiration be creative maybe? Let's do that. And she's also starting everything with skill level two. So she is doing good. They both did so good. And there's little Poppy. Oh my goodness. I don't like her outfit. We are going to have to work on that. I don't even totally like her hair, but she looks a lot like Jade. This is so cute. Let's see. What do we need to do for Poppy and Jackson? You guys, they're kids. I mean, we definitely need to give them a makeover, but they have school tomorrow too. So I guess they could go on and do their homework. So for Jackson's aspiration of mind and body, he needs to become confident and achieve level three mental skill, which is not gonna be difficult for him at all because he's already level two. So I'm gonna let him finish his homework and then we'll get to work on that. And then Poppy, she's getting a little bit of help from Ren as well. Oh, she doesn't actually know Ren. Okay, let's give him a howdy introduction. And for her aspiration, she needs to have an activity table and draw two pictures while inspired. That's right, they get a big kid bedroom in this episode. I have to update their little bedrooms. Jackson has completed his homework for the day, so he's heading into shower. And I could go on and jump in cast as well and give them their little makeover. Let's do that. This is his everyday outfit. We have formal wear, athletic wear, sleep wear, party wear. This is his swim wear and hot weather and cold weather. The cold weather's cute. I don't know, some of his outfits I'm not as in love with, but honestly, they're usually in their PJs or their everyday outfit, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But then it's Poppy's turn next. Her outfit is a little bit tragic right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna fix her up. She was a perfectionist and she's a little bit creative. That's her aspiration. So let me figure out what kind of look Poppy is gonna have. I kind of like this one from Seasons right off the bat. Let's see, is there any other options for her hair? She had a bit of a braid as a toddler, so that might would be cute. That's adorable. Should we leave the cowboy boots on as well? They're kind of cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with it. Oh, this is her party wear. What? I thought I was on everyday wear. It's fine. So let me fix up the rest of her outfits. I don't know now what we're gonna do for her everyday wear, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so I got Poppy done. Here is her everyday outfit sorted. I feel like it goes along with the perfectionist theme. It looks very perfectionist to me, but there's Poppy's everyday outfit. We have her formal outfit. Don't judge me for that one. The sweatshirt is a bad ideal, I know, but I didn't like any of the dresses. Then we have her little athletic wear, which I thought that was cute. Sleep wear. This is the party wear, of course, that I thought was every day, but it's not. Then we have her swimwear hot weather outfit, which I love this little shirt. I've never seen that before, but that's so cute. And then we have her cold weather outfit. So she's done. And I also went on and gave Jade a really quick little bit of an upgrade. Now that she's an adult, I went on and changed some of her outfits that look more like party outfits to more like mom outfits. It's still fun, I feel like, but you'll see Jade in a few new looks. And we're done. So let's see where Johnny is at. He's been playing violin for three hours. And you know, let's see. I think he can keep going, honestly. If he wants to have a midlife crisis, he can keep on having it. And Jackson is already feeling confident. So that should have completed one part of his aspiration. So he just needs to achieve level three mental skill now, which we can go on and work on once he gets out of the shower. Poppy is still working on her, um, what? Homework, yes. She's still working on her homework and I have to get her an activity table. But I don't know if I wanna do that right now. I guess I might as well do it. Yeah, let me just fix their rooms up and I will show you guys the rooms when they're done. Okay, so I got their rooms done, but Jackson's room may kind of look like I don't like Jackson, but I do, I love Jackson so much, but I'm just out of ideals of what to fill his room with. All right, now his trait is that he's a child of the ocean. So I thought about doing a little bit more of a Sulani vibe, but it just doesn't fit with the house at all. So I ended up going with this horse ranch bed and I did this little horse ranch skull thing 
and I used like a little frame. I think this is some kind of menu from Get Together. I used that to kind of create a frame and I used the tool mod to push it into the wall so you can't actually see what the picture is. I saw that on Pinterest and I wanted to do it in Austin's bedroom, but he never did have enough room and his room somehow is a little bit smaller than Jackson and Poppy's room. So I ended up doing it here for Jackson. It looks a bit funny. It doesn't look exactly like I want it to. Maybe if we put some lights on each side of it, that would look better. Let's try that. But anyway, I did give him a little bit of a watery theme over here on his bedside table. I put a fish bowl and this little kid's craft thing that came from growing together, I think. I don't really know what the purpose of those are, but it looks like a little tropical theme. So I put that over there by his bed. But we got a little dollhouse. We have a desk for him to do his homework at. And I moved the chess table in here as well, just because it gave me something to add to his room because I was out of ideals. But he and Austin had a little spot for a closet that I had forgot about when I did Austin's bedroom. And then Poppy's bedroom, it's very pink. I don't know if Poppy is gonna be a pink girly. Like we might should change some of the pink to like a red. The trouble is I just don't have a lot of good options for that, but we could do this color. This color is actually kind of nice and it takes away a little bit of the just massive amount of pink. Anyway, here's Poppy's bedroom. It's still a little bit kind of empty as well. Their rooms are just really big and I felt like I was spending a lot of money. I think I spent about 10,000 simoleons or maybe a little bit more. So I didn't want to just go crazy, but here's her room. I kept the little sheep rug in here with her. I got her an activity table for her aspiration and she has a new dollhouse, a toy box, and a mirror and a dresser. So she's good to go. The twins are officially in their big kid rooms. Poppy's room does not match the house and it drives me crazy a little bit. But anyway, that's it for that. They're good. Both the horses are really uncomfortable. I'm not sure why because it won't let me see. Oh, they're just needing to have a little bit of fun, it looks like. So I'll come out here and ask them to play in a minute. Look, Father Winter and Marcus and Eva are just hanging out with the horses. Marcus and Father Winter are kind of having a stare off like they usually both come out here and it's like they they've never actually seen each other out here with the horses before so they're having a little bit of a staring contest i wonder if we could just go on and end this birthday yeah let's go on and end it i feel like everyone can go home at this point i think johnny is actually gonna have to stop playing the violin because he needs to take care of himself he's wanting to contemplate his life again and i think everybody's doing good we got makeovers we got brand new rooms i don't feel like we're making any progress at all with johnny's midlife crisis he's down to five days but i mean it's been a day since he started his midlife crisis so i don't feel like we're making a lot of progress with that i guess i could buy that track Magic clown painting but I don't want to it would have been nice if Johnny had had a midlife crisis and wanted to get into fitness or something useful like that I think that I'm gonna have to let Johnny go to sleep although he's really close to finishing up the violin situation so I may let him do that and then he can go to sleep okay Johnny reached violin level three but mainly all I'm interested in is getting him through his midlife crisis he still has an hour before we're done with that okay I think I gotta let him stop it's two o'clock in the morning oh it looks like we did it okay good so now he wants to take five photos around the world Johnny wants to travel to new locations and take photos make sure a camera is in his inventory that's actually okay because tomorrow Jade goes to work, the kids go to school, and for the first time in a long time, we can actually go and just chill out and do whatever we want. So I can take him to the museum, I can take him to go take pictures and stuff. But he has finally made it to bed and he has three days left on his midlife crisis now. Finally, we made some progress with the playing the violin for six hours. It was worth it. I'm not buying a pipe organ though. That's too far. Oh, Poppy has just woken up. It's her first day as a kid and she already has a loose tooth also. Okay, let's just go on and pull it out so she doesn't have to deal with that all day. Come on, Poppy, you can do it. Just pull that thing out. Oh, she did it. Oh, so good job, Poppy. That means she should have a tooth fairy certificate also, just like Austin got. Okay, she needs to get inspired. How do we do that? Take a thoughtful shower, read, or do creative work. Okay, we might could take a quick shower. Oh, I forgot the shower's broken. Okay, I'll just let her go on and start drawing and maybe she will get a little bit 
creative as she's working on that because her needs are looking pretty good before school. She really doesn't need very much. I haven't been doing Jade's work task at all just because I don't feel like filling out the reports. Is that bad? I don't know if it's keeping her from getting promoted as often, but I just don't feel like doing it. All right, Johnny actually might could get up. He could make one batch of nectar really quick before we get out on the town and start his day. Jade is off to work. Okay, so that means that we can leave with Johnny. Maybe we could go with Marcus. Let's take Marcus with us. I definitely did not add that to my rec center. I don't think I have ever used the tragic clown picture, honestly, but let's jump in here and see if we can find it. And then we need to like take a picture in San Sequoia as well. It's kind of gross and rainy here today. I do not see this tragic clown picture. You know what? It was a lie. It was a scam. There is no tragic clown picture here. It says you can purchase the tragic clown painting in build mode or visit the recreation center to view it there. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me, you guys. Okay, let's view tragic clown picture. And we're done. We did it. Now he wants to write a book. Johnny, calm down. Oh, let's go down here with Marcus. I want to take a picture with Marcus. I wonder if that would count. Okay, that's good. So now let's go to a museum so that we can knock off the artwork viewing thing. We'll bring Marcus with us. Why not? And then hopefully we'll be doing good. We're hopefully getting to this midlife crisis so that I can go back to nectar making, you guys. I need to nectar make. All right, come along, Marcus. Come on. We're going inside to view some artwork. I do like that they give you plenty of options with this midlife crisis. Like... Something like write a book, I don't want to do that. You know, that's going to take too long. I do not want to do that. So I like that you have several different options that you can still complete some stuff and get over the midlife crisis, but you don't have to do stuff that you don't want to do. I like that. That's nice. Oh, and Marcus has found him a drink somewhere. You guys, when we go to this new world and we have our little rental lots, do you guys think Marcus might could come rent a lot from us and live with us kind of at the same time? That would be so cool. Okay, now Johnny completed that. He wants to re reach level two in a creative art career, which we're not doing. But we can go on and keep taking pictures and I think we're doing good. We're down to one day and nine hours. So I think maybe if we complete this task of taking the photos around the world or whatever, then maybe we'll be close enough that we don't have to worry about that. And by tomorrow, he'll be over his midlife crisis. This has been a journey. He's wanting to lie about his career to Marcus. Marcus knows what we do every day, Johnny. He calls us 10 times a day. Okay, so now we need to go to another world <laughs> and take another picture. Oh, I went into build mode. We'll go to Brindleton Bay next, I guess. That's a really pretty world. And we could take a picture of the ocean and put it in Jackson's bedroom. Oh, it's raining in Brindleton Bay also. Oh, it's actually storming pretty bad. Let's grab our picture and go. Okay, next world. Let's see if it's raining in Sulani. Maybe not. Maybe it's actually a nice day in Sulani. It's pretty here. It's actually so pretty. Oh, cool. We can get a good picture here. Yes, we'll put this in Jackson's room. This is so cute. I'm going to do a large size. Okay, that leaves one more. I wonder if I go to Chestnut Ridge if that would count. I'm going to try it. Did that work? No, it didn't work. Ah, man, I got to go to another world. Okay, I need another picture. Okay, so that went through. Let's see, where are we at now, Johnny? We have 14 hours left of the midlife crisis. And he wants to view or admire 10 different pieces of art, which we are conveniently at an art place right now, an art gallery. So we can do that. And then maybe we'll be done with the midlife crisis after today, I think. We're down to 14 hours. I mean, he's going to sleep tonight. By tomorrow, we're good to go. We have beaten this midlife crisis. Oh, he's having a little bit of trouble. He's needing to go to the bathroom. That's okay, Johnny. Just keep, keep powering through for just a little while longer. You got this. And the kids are back home from school. Austin is an A student. Yes, he completed his aspiration then. And then of course, Poppy and Jackson are still C students, but it was their first day of school. What? I thought that guy was pickpocketing me. He's just hiding himself up in the mirror, but it looked like he was attacking me for a minute. Oh, so close. One more, Johnny. Yes, yes, crisis resolution. Johnny's midlife crisis has passed and he is going through a resolution phase reflecting on who he is and where he is in life. I uh, am not totally sure what that means, but I am so glad we are done with the midlife crisis. And he's got a happy moodlet. It's not so bad from overcoming a midlife crisis. Let's go home. Okay, 
you guys, Alston has completed his childhood dream of becoming a brilliant child. He, oh, he earned a trait. He's mentally gifted, so he'll build mental skills faster. Okay, Jackson is working on his mental skill, but he probably needs to do his homework. Him and Poppy both. Poppy has lost her homework. Of course she has. Maybe this is it. Okay, and then Johnny is finally done with his midlife crisis, so we can sell this thing, this mural that he did not finish. We're just gonna sell that. I'm gonna let him eat, and then I guess we're gonna get started making some nectar. Oh, actually, he needs to fix the shower, too. I need him to do that. And Jade is home from work. She did not get a promotion, but like I said, that's probably my fault because I don't make her fill out the reports just because I feel like it's boring. Oh, and we got a text message from Alakai who would like to come over and hang out. I'm gonna say, yes, of course. The twins can meet him now. We can make friends with him. Oh, the twins didn't get artwork like Austin got. Austin got a little picture on his first day at school. The twins did not. I'm gonna let Poppy come introduce herself to Alakai because she's our social butterfly, I feel like. Her social need is a little bit low right now, so I'm gonna let her come make a little bit of a friend. Is that Marcus coming by? Alakai likes the color yellow. Okay, Poppy is feeling quite confident at this point. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get her inspired right now because she's feeling pretty good about herself. So maybe we could temporarily swap her over to the social butterfly thing and maybe we can make a friend with Alakai if I can find where he went. Hold on, Alakai just aged up. Was he not just a kid just a second ago when we walked up to him, right? He was a kid. And now he is a teen and now it's weird to go make friends with him. Maybe not. He's just a teen. We'll, we'll make friends with him. It's fine. Poor Alakai didn't get a birthday party. So Poppy did acquire the charisma skill and we learned that Alakai hates children. That is one of his traits that he hates children. Oh, Alakai, you're making everything so complicated. He also dislikes video gaming. Wow, Alakai, you are an odd person. Marcus is like, Poppy, should you be talking to him? Oh, it says that Poppy doesn't know Marcus. We gotta fix that. Let's give him a friendly introduction. Alakai is feeling a little bit uncomfortable with the whole situation, which makes sense because he hates kids. Wow, Poppy has already made it to social level five and Alakai is not even close to being our friend. He's gotten very angry. Let's try to calm him down. Oh, he's mad. You know what? It's fine. We'll talk to Marcus. Oh, uh, Marcus is leaving. Okay, so we did not successfully make a friend. I don't know. It says we made a friend. Maybe we did make a friend with Alakai. I don't think so, though. Johnny is supposed to be making nectar, but he is not. He's in there with Austin. Let me send him back out here. He's made a few excellent bottles, though, so he's doing a little bit better. We're almost halfway there. Oh, it appears that Alakai came into Poppy's bedroom and broke her dollhouse as well. He's left now, thankfully, but I don't know if we're going to let him keep coming over here with that kind of attitude. And plus, he's a teen now. He's older than us anyway. Johnny is getting quite smelly because he has been out here working on nectar. But the day is pretty much over. I think I'm going to end the episode here, get everyone to bed and get ready for the next day. But Johnny is at 23 bottles of excellent nectar out of 50. I think I'm going to make him push through and get to 25 so that we're halfway there. Anyway, that is it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments because I always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you soon with another episode of this series, but that is all for today. So bye guys.